Hey everyone, I'm Merrick, and we're back in Subnautica. And I have good news. I finally figured out where to look, or what to look for, for the mushroom forest biomes. Holy shit, look at all the sharks. Look at them. Just, just there, being dicks. So we know what to look for. We're really hungry, but... I think we can find it. We're just gonna zip around here, hopefully not starve to death, and see what we can find. Now we're gonna make kind of a, a, a looping pattern around my crash pod so that I can kind of keep that centered and know where I've been and where I've gone and, and make concentric cir uh, circles around it, kind of search in that way until we find the mushroom forest and that is where we should be able to find some lithium we're also gonna have to eat some raw fish I think because uh, I don't think I have any in my inventory and I don't really want to stop to check right now so we're in a kelp forest decidedly not mushroomy We've got some nice little pillars to barnstorm through Trying to keep an eye open and to look around. There's my blinky thing. We want the blinky thing always on our right. Try to keep an eye out on our energy because we don't want to get stranded. Not that it really matters. We can always stop. Oh, that's a cool little formation. I know I'm just running through all these new and interesting areas, but I'm really, really excited. They're preparing to launch the sea bases, and I want to be able to just start in on those as quickly as possible. I know we're still missing a couple of teeth from those little bastards there, but we can harvest those. We know how to get those. So, running in circles. It's my favorite way to fly. I do like that we can go through these kelp forests without taking damage from the kelp. And it's kind of a cool effect of just swimming through a forest. But I really wish they were mushrooms, you know? Alright, we are definitely in uncharted territory. Need to make sure we're not getting too close to the ship, too. Because I don't know what the effects of being that close to the ship would be. I don't know if they would start killing my character through the sea moth or not. And I definitely can't get out and swim near it because it's full of radiation and badness. So we're gonna start heading in the opposite direction here. I think. Oh, our health on this thing isn't too hot either. Let's uh, let's take a quick fixer upper break. Oh, hold on. I heard something scary. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Okay, so we are starving to death. Soon. Hmm. We are in quite a pickle. So this is what happens. You get all excited and you just, you think you could do it and you just run off half cocked and the next thing you know you're in emergency calorie mode and you're having to eat raw fish and get thirsty. Well we don't have to eat raw fish because we're stupidly close to our home so apparently I did a very good and bad thing at the same time. Let's swim on over to the home, find some food get our frame rate back because I don't know why that's tanking and see what we can do we don't have anything to eat yeah, we have a Gary fish I'm sorry Gary but you're eating okay I've also noticed that I have to rediscover all the fish types after um, after every time I log out so we're gonna have a lot of discoveries. My frame rate's tanking. Jesus, I am sorry about that. No idea what's going on. We 
We need that guy for some water. I don't want to screw with those guys. They can just go fuck themselves. We're going to hide in here. Get out of the way. Get. Okay, so let's not play with them. Because they will hurt us. I really don't want to have to fight two of them. Because we've got shit to do, man. We've got shit to do. Where are all the boomerang fish? Are they eating all the fish? Oh, I bet they're eating all the fish around here and I can't... can't have that. Because I'll die. There's another Gary fish. Gary! Gary, come here! Alright, we'll eat Gary. Tell him about our lord and savior, the lasers. Cook his ass. Oh, there's another Gary fish. Gary, I want to tell you a story about how my world got turned around and I crashed. Will Smith does it better. He's got the skills. Something about being a, a fresh princess. Well, downwards, it's better and wetter. Okay, let's see here. Come on, Gary. Don't put up a fight. I need you, man. Yeah, we're swimming in the shallows. I think our next plan is after we eat and drink, we're going to hop in the sea moth. And we're gonna head straight that way. Just, just straight that way and see what we can do. That's right, we see what we can do. Right, we're gonna get some filtered water from the air sacs. That'll be good. Ball bag, we don't have any salt. Okay, so we weren't dehydrated anymore, but now we have a food issue. We don't have any salt. And if I eat the fish raw, I have a water problem again. <sighs> frustrating. So frustrating. This whole survival thing is just a big pain in the ass. Can't call up Domino's and have them deliver a fish pizza. Ah. <sighs> Alright, we got enough for one fish. Not that that's really going to do a whole lot for us. Now we're getting somewhere there's two fish. I want to do at least four. Oxygen, 50%. Got him. I like the Gary fish because they're nice and slow, but I feel kind of bad for eating all of our friends. Because every time we make new friends and collect them up and bring them home, show them our nice little place, we just wind up eating them all again. What the hell is that? It's a whole fish. Hey, come here. I got a hole in my belly you can fill. Alright. There's not more salt. I don't know if it's going to get me first the oxygen or the starvation. Well, not the oxygen now. That starvation's looking pretty bad. We're gonna see some more blood explosions. Never a good thing. Not when you've actually got a problem with starvation. That's right, kids. Don't starve yourselves because blood will explode out of your body in beautiful arrays of sadness. And you don't want that. Nobody wants that. Eat a Gary fish. Eat a whole fish. Eat a boomerang fish. Just eat some fish. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. So let's um, let's cook up a couple of Gary fish to take with us. A little, little road snack. By a couple, I mean one. And let's hop in the sea moth and motor on out of here. Okay, the phone's ringing. Apologies for that. That will stop in just a moment. Oh. My driving, however, will not improve in just a moment. That I can promise you. So here we go. Straight this way. Now I think this way will lead us to the red fields where Frank, Steve, Rhonda, and Tonda live. 
And from there, we could probably go left or right and find some new biome action. Yeah, so here's the red fields. The scary melty place is over here as well, so we're not going to play with that. Although this, this is interesting. What's this? What is this? I've never seen you before. Are you going to hurt me? A jelly plant. Oh, the hell is a jelly plant? I don't know, but we have one. Okay. Not worried about you. You can just, you can just go kiss my ass. We need mushroom forests. Come on, mushroom forests. I don't want to go in the hole. I do, actually, but I don't because mushroom forests. What's this? Oh. It's a big ass spire wall. Why is it Frank? What's going on, buddy? You doing alright? You're not singing, are you, Steve? Steve doesn't sing. Frank sings. That's why he's named Frank. Like Frank Sinatra. Okay. My lights are not penetrating too far into the depths. We're at nearly 100 meters. No idea where we are. Can't see very far. Oh, I hear some scary noises. I'm gonna keep the edge of the this little area. Let's just stick to that. So we were getting off into a space that I have not seen before and I really don't want to die. Okay, so this is different. I don't know where I'm at in relations to anything. Whoa. It's a mushroom forest! And that is freaky looking. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I like it. They turn the lights on. They're like Tom Bodette, man. They'll leave the light on for you. Oh, something's singing. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. Okay, so we're looking for lithium. Let's try not to get too distracted here. Oh shit, I think I hear one of those sharks. Alright, we gotta be prepared to dart in and out of the area if there's one of those sharks around. Maybe we'll kill him if there aren't too many. Oh, there he is. Seriously? God, what dickheads, you know? appreciate you wanting to make sure I make it here safely, shark dude, but you're really, really aggressive with it, and I'm not a fan. I just need you to just leave me be. Holy shit. Okay. Here we are. We got some lithium! Woo! Alright, so now we just need to do that four more times. So we're gonna... We're we're gonna risk it for a biscuit and swim around a little bit since daylight seems to be breaking through here. Tree mushroom. I'm not gonna hit that. I know some people say they would, but I'm a little afraid to just reach out and touch it. Okay, let's head back to the sea moth. We gotta be smart about this. I don't mind swimming around, but let's pump up some new oxygen and then we will place down a guiding wire in a new location and hunt from there because we need to find ourselves more lithium I'm just I keep getting distracted by the sounds the little woo woo sounds 
really. You do it again, and I'm gonna kill you. That that's it. I've I've had it. All right, so we've got that there. Now we can get home. If that little bastard comes out again, I'm gonna wreck his face. I've just I've had enough. Asshole. Okay, so we are looking for lithium. We have seen lithium. We have lithium in the inventory. It's very exciting. Of course, I feel like I'm being hunted by that asshole shark. Now, we're going to have to keep an eye on our oxygen. I cannot make it back to the surface in time, so we'll have to head back to the sea moth here in a moment. And play it safe. <laughs> I'm just leaving this guide wire all around these trees. Like an asshole dog. Okay, we've got to head back. Whew. I really should have made one of the sea glides. Because they allow you to travel a whole lot faster. Okay, I made it with two oxygen left. That's never a good thing. We cannot afford to play it that, that close. So we're going to... We're going to drive around a little bit. No, we're not. We're going to unhook myself from the ground first because I am still attached. I kind of like that I could just plop this down in the sea moth on the ground and just drive away. No. Oh, look at th That's weird. Okay. There we go. I'm in the sea moth now. That's just me driving poorly and beating up my ship, which I should not do. Because if it gets stuck, I'm I am boned beyond boned. Okay, so more lithium. Whoop. Well, I mean, I don't want to waste it. Pick up none. I've got some none. <laughs> I don't think they've put the description in for that. So I've picked up none. Hey. I see you. You just you just leave me alone. I just want the purple shit on the ground. God damn it. It's, it's either really, really rare or I'm just not seeing it. Oh, come on. Getting thirsty and hungry. Mushroom forest. Give me some lithium. More than what you've given me, damn it. Okay, let's, let's head to a new section. Clearly just tapped that one out. The damage. Oh, yep. Yep, broke up some more nun. There's another one of those shark fuckers just swimming around, looking to beat us with its face. Beat its face in. Okay, well, we know that my instance has lithium in it. We know it's here in this shit-ass forest somewhere and I know how to get back here apparently I'm just gonna beat the shit out of these trees in frustration for not finding more lithium but my water... oh... oh... can't go too much deeper because I'm afraid that this is gonna be its crush depth this thing, I don't know what its crush depth is but again, don't want to test it out I am going to have to start heading back because I am running out of food and water meters. So we're going to do that. We're just going to start motoring back. But what I will do is I'll hop out and drop a, a guide wire so that we can easily just get back in our ship and know where to go. 
Ah, oh, hell, there's some more lithium down there. And some salt. I'm going for it. Don't die. That's all I can ask. I don't know if my guy has a crush depth. Or if there's going to be some sort of baddie in here that's just going to pop out and eat me. That would suck. Okay. It started getting dark. I don't know if it's because I was running out of light. Or if my guy was starting to die. I don't know. But I'm really, really nervous about losing everything. So we're just going to head back home. And hope that we don't die. Yes, I know. Where is the blingy thing? There's the blingy thing. Alright. We are going to swim with our nose to the ground. Because, well, if we see more lithium, we are definitely going to stop. Look at this thing. Look at it! It's a giant tree. This thing is so cool. Sorry, I'm starving. I have to go back. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I will stop and eat in a little bit. I've got a little bit of a snack. Okay, so it's, it's gonna be all right. See, I am eating a cooked gary fish. Okay, so we're gonna plop down a little fishy real thing. There we go. And we're gonna get in our sea moth. We're gonna head on back. And everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be hunky dory. We know where to go to get more lithium. I can't believe it's taken us this long to get everything. We've got two lithium, so we need three more. Oh, I'm so excited! I am so excited. It was in the exact opposite direction of our crash ship, too. Somewhere we haven't gone yet, obviously. Past a couple kelp forests. Or creep vine forests. I'll probably call them kelp forests again in the future, let's be honest. Oh, we're gonna find out if there's a limit to this, uh... This little guide wire. Everything's popping back in because we went so far away it all unloaded from memory. Again, this awesome game is still an alpha, so keep that in mind. Okay, we'll cook a Gary Fish. That'll help us with a little bit of hunger and thirst. Those assholes are beating up my ship. I'll kill them later. I've got things to do. I need one more titanium ingot. Uh, and um, I know this video is, is running a little bit longer than normal, but I really want to use this lithium up before I lose it. So we got one plasteel ingot. Yeah! There we go. Two plasteel ingots. So we need one more titanium ingot, three more lithium, and two shark's teeth. Yeah. And one more glass. And we'll have a cyclops. Alright. I hope you enjoyed this video and the discovery of the awesome mushroom forest. If you did, leave a like. If you have tips, advice, comments, you want to call me stupid for not knowing to go that way for, this, for the mushroom forest, throw it down below. I'd love to read it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.